Good morning, Chris. What's up? Time to get to work on the the big project, the big deal. All right, man, I'm excited. Got a lot going on in here, buddy. All right, we got a lot of workers. It looks like working on all the projects. Well, so hey, Blake, what's going on, buddy? Working on my starlight. All right. Putting in plans. Yeah, I love it when you read the plans. Right. <laughs> so what's next? Uh, we're putting a horizontal stabilizer on. And uh, then as soon as we get that on the tail on, then we're gonna put the engine in, get that all fired up and then get it rolling and flying. All right, check out the little engine we've got here. This is a Predator 670. Uh, Blake's got all of the parts ordered to uh, uh, get it rebuilt with uh, bearings and uh, billet type material parts. Uh, and uh, he's got the reduction drive already. He's got the propeller, the propeller hub. Uh, he's just getting after it. He's going uh, full steam ahead. And obviously, you know, we're trying to get things ready for Oshkosh. And, yep. and we don't know, we don't know for sure, you know, how far along it'll be, but it'll certainly be farther than this. So uh, look us up out there. Yep. Good morning, what's working on? Hey, you doing, sir? Working on the uh, plane here, doing the MGL MX-1. Yeah. With the uh, uh, V6 Calm radio and uh, just figuring out where all of our wiring is going to go, where all the uh, connections are going to go, just planning that out back and half. All right. And well, get after it. This is going to be the Odyssey jet. Yeah, it is. So yes, it is. Ultra lightweight, ultra fast. And then we go back into the... Uh, the dungeon. The dungeon here where the secrets really are happening. This is the black hole. This is the secret area. So here we have the uh, our butcher bird project that we're doing we're basically creating a mold from a, a well-known composite aircraft and we're going to make this aircraft come into the 21st century with losing a lot of weight uh, changing um, a little bit of the air airfoils changing things on to make it a better airplane a faster airplane so th is this a real airplane this is a real airplane with 150 hours on it it's a known uh flyer and i'm told they fly very good and um You've only taxi tested this I've one, done correct? It, yeah, it, it taxi's awesome, but but really this airplane needs to be brought into the 21st century. And so with good airfoils, we're gonna take out all the wood structure that's in here. We're gonna create volume, bigger pilots can sit in it. Um, we're gonna so drop we, a ton of weight. And we're gonna drop a ton of weight. We're gonna put a good engine on it. Um, so it's just gonna be a totally different airplane. You're gonna be able to build it in four to 500 hours with no no problem and, and you're not gonna have to uh, resource all your all your uh, uh, parts and things we're gonna have it all it'll, it'll be um, and easy to build and you'll be flying it in six to seven months after you get it how about that where's Chris where's uh Jim, where's Jim? <laughs> hey Jim hey bud what are you working on this morning uh, airplane getting her prepping it uh, for wax PVA and then the shoot gel coat Tell okay. us a little bit about your flange and what's going on up there. All right, so the green part's flange from the bottom of the, you know, bottom mold we already already did. You probably already saw a video. So when we get down here, this will be the green part. Once once we pull it off, the buttons will take and make the two sides align. One's an Eddie, one's an Audi. Yeah. You know, yeah. And uh, it'll go together like a Rebel uh, plastic model kit almost. You know, All right. two halves together, bottom on there. You know? Well, Jim, you've been in the composite business a long time, haven't you, friend? Yeah, since the early 80s. So yeah. it's been a while. Yeah, and Jim's also an aviation enthusiast. Been building model airplanes for over 60 years. Let's yeah, just say. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's a character, too. And he, he's got a, uh, what is that, a legal eagle you have? Uh, well, it, it's my own version of a legal eagle. It's, okay. Uh, and I've uh, got a Quicksilver. Uh, Oh, yeah, I got a barn full of airplanes, including air coops. And, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, that brings up an interesting or... point. I think uh, yeah, this is going to be a sport airplane. Yeah, it's going to be, be able light. to fly about 180 miles an hour and land at about 100 or about uh, 58. But your guys are talking about cutting Slumps, weight. Dro dropping it down. Could this, possibly be, dropping could this possibly be an ultralight? Yeah, 58% uh, uh, ultralight. Oh, yeah, we, we, we can match that fly it on a 503 or 503 clone. Now, wouldn't that be awesome? You can either fly to or get a sport plane, or you could get the same kit and create a an ultralight. Yeah, yeah. 
The same skin, yeah. Same skin. Same skin. A twofer. Awesome. Well, that we, sounds like a good idea. That's going to be fun. Yeah. And we got a little ultralight laying up there, too. Okay. That one's pretty much ready to go. We'll, we'll be working on that sometime after Oshkosh. Right. So what's next? Uh, what's the next parts we're dealing with here? Uh, next parts? Uh, well, once we get all these done, we got to do the tail feathers. Uh, those will go pretty fast. Uh, the rudder, the elevator, and then we have the cowl. Let's to, check out to the go cowl. check out the cowl in the paint booth. All right, through the paint booth. Uh, AKA Jim's office. Jim's office. Yeah, so this is the, the cowl that was created, uh, the top half of it, and you can kind of see uh, got the fake guns. We're going to create this out of carbon fiber, we'll create a mold of it, and it's going to be lighter, stronger. Uh, the bottom half here has the, uh, like on the typical uh, Fox 190, they have the cheekbones there. And uh, we'll build all these parts, um, and they will be strong, light, and we're going to make them look a little bit more authentic. Well, guys, I really appreciate you uh, visiting with us this morning. Thanks for uh, getting through this video. Uh, we're very proud of what we do here at ODG Composites. Obviously, uh, you know, COVID was really tough on us, uh, as it was for many other guys in business. Um, we've managed to stay alive. We've got several air aircraft projects uh, in the works, as you can see. And uh, we certainly welcome any additional work that you guys may uh, have that you feel we're uh, we're the right guys for so uh, thanks for watching and uh, let's say bye say bye guys bye bye we'll see you guys here next week <laughs>